a DC-10 en route to Chicago. It's packed with children and vacationers. One hour into the flight, an engine fails. Although it still has two good engines, the plane becomes almost unflyable. 285 passengers face an horrific crash landing at Sioux City. Why did a simple engine failure lead to a crash? Now, using advanced computer simulations, we reveal exactly what downed Flight 232. Disasters don't just happen, they're a chain of critical events. Unravel the clues and count down those final seconds from disaster. As the DC-10's fan disk rotates at 3,800 RPM, the huge stresses initiate a minute crack in the defect. With every flight, it grows fractionally bigger. July 19, 1989, 44 minutes from disaster. The fan disk has been in service for 15,503 flights over 17 years. The crack reaches 13 millimeters in length. The faulty fan disk can no longer cope with the stresses imposed by its rotation. It shears in two. The damage it causes makes the DC-10 virtually unflyable. For the next 40 minutes, the pilots struggle to control the plane. Five minutes to go. Flight 232 comes out of its final turn into Sioux City. 20 seconds. As the plane comes into land, the right wing drops. Disaster strikes. The right wing tip hits the ground and the DC-10 careers down the runway. A $21 million jet weighing 165 tons is brought down by a tiny metallic floor.